In this video, we will design, assemble, and will perform motion study analysis on internal spark gear in SOLIDWORKS. So let's get started. First of all, select assembly and click OK. Cross this window, cross this window as well. Select front plane, click on sketch, and now make a circle here. and then make a straight horizontal line like this at zero degree now make a center line like this after that go to smart dimension and make the diameter of this circle as 50 millimeter the distance between these two points as 35 millimeter Press the escape button, then select this point, the center line, and the other point of the line, and make relation as symmetric. Click OK. Now go to Smart Dimension and set the length of this line as 150 millimeter. After that, click OK and then expand this bar. You need to select the toolbox in the design library in case you do not have it. Expand this bar, click on Add Ins. Select this option SOLIDWORKS Toolbox Library and then click OK. After that, let me show you from the very beginning. First of all, go to ANSI Metric, then scroll down and then go to Power Transmission. Select this gear and drag the spur gear in the work environment. After that, we need to configure these components. I have already configured these components module, number of teeth pressure angle and then face width you can copy these parameters for your design or you can make your own design after that click ok cross this insert component as we do not need any other spark gear after that click here and make it as float so that it can move or it can rotate go to assembly and then click here on rotate component and rotate this spark gear okay click on mate select the front plane and this face of the spark gear click ok after that select this internal bore of the spark gear and this circle that we have made previously click ok now it's time to insert the rack drag the rack uh, here in the work environment I have already configured these parameters module, pressure angle, face width. After configuring the design components, click here OK. As we do not need any other racks to so cross this window. Now select the edge of the rack. Click on mate. The edge of the rack has already selected. Now select this line and click OK. After that, select this face of the pinion and the rack and click OK. Now rotate this. These are looking perfect. Now it's time to align the spark gear and the rack in such a way that their teeth do not uh, intersect with each other. Click on move and move the rack in such a way that the teeth are not meshing with each other now it's looking perfect click ok now select here mate expand this bar and expand the bar of spur gear now expand this uh, tooth cut and right click show after that, cross the mate option or press the escape button. Now select this uh, circle and make it hide. Now the pitch circle has been shown for the mating purpose. Select mate. After that, go here in mechanical. Select this rack and pinion. Now select this rack option. Select the edge of the rack and then click on the pinion option and select this pitch circle. Scroll down 
okay it's fine click okay after that hide these lines select here and make it hide now rotate component that's perfect okay now assign some color to these uh, spark gear and rack i would like to assign yellow color to the spar gear and uh, green color to the rack after that go to motion study select settings and increase this frames per second to 30 or 35 and then expand this bar and increase this okay now click this motor option and then select this bar gear and make the rpm as 2 click ok ok after that drop down this menu and select basic motion drag this to 12 seconds after that click on calculate and here we have the moving rack and pinion set if you find this video helpful uh, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much